Crime Alert, the new video showing the moments children had to die for cover as they heard gunshots at their game. The bullets came from just a few feet away from the park, sending two people to the hospital. Local 10's Terrell Fournay is live in Cutler Bay with the latest on the search for a shooter. Terrell. And this was a gun battle in the streets. And tonight we're getting a true sense of just how terrifying those moments were. Bullets hit buildings. They hit objects just standing, uh, you know, freestanding objects. And also those bullets hit this car behind me. But thankfully, no children were injured. Those bullets were headed for our field. And um, God protected us. You can see the very moment a Little League baseball game at Franjo Park was interrupted by a hail of gunshots as the kids and coaches run for cover. Everybody's grabbing kids. My wife jumped under the picnic table. Three of our coaches. Mickey Lopez was on the field as head coach for one of the teams. Yeah, total chaos. I don't know how we ended up behind home plate, but that's where we hunkered down with the kids. We, we uh, threw our bodies over them. Every parent of the kids were on top of them just in case of one of the gunshots landed on them. On the next block over, a witness snapped this photo of a gun on the pavement where a shootout started in front of homes, all between neighbors and several shooters in a passing car. Two men were shot and found at a nearby gas station where detectives focused part of their investigation Monday night. There were dozens and dozens of flying bullets. Here, there, there, there. Daniela Madrid shows us how her father's parked car was left riddled with bullets and nearby businesses also hit like this barber shop. To have, you know, kids close by, you know what I'm saying, having, you know, the shootout like that, you know, I think it was a pretty, uh, pretty intense. Man. The panic, though, traumatizing for everyone at that baseball game, especially the children. We're all shaking, you know, from the adults, the parents, the kids. Uh, it's... It's disheartening that this would happen in our backyard. So traumatizing that the next few games for these little leaguers have been canceled, at least until Friday, as these children really get over exactly what happened here. As for those two men who are recovering in the hospital, they are suffering from non-life-threatening injuries, but police say they are not cooperating with this investigation. Those people who fired those bullets, they are still out there. If you have any information that could help police, pick up the phone and give Miami-Dade Crime Stoppers a call. That number now on your screen, 305-471-TIPS. We are live in Cutler Bay tonight. Terrell Fournay, Local 10 News. Such a frightening ordeal. Terrell, thank you. Developing